What's going on YouTube? Dave back again and today we're taking a look at the Vortrex from Fidgetrix.com and Amazon. Roll the intro. What's going on everybody? I hope everybody has been having a great week. Fourth of July is creeping up. And right now we're going to be taking a look at the Vortrix from Fidgetrix. They have a website which is fidgetrix.com and they also sell on Amazon. If you check down in the description, there'll be links to both along with a discount code for on the website. So first and foremost, let's get into it. Popping off the lid, you're greeted with a small card on here with a chance to get a $100 store credit by posting on Instagram and tagging them with hashtags. So that's kind of cool. Next up, you're greeted with a clear decal sticker with their logo, which I actually really like their logo. Next up, we're taking a look at the Vortrix itself. It's in that soft white foam that I actually really like. Let's get it out of there. Taking a look at the Vortrix, it is a tri-arm design. Now this one is in polished stainless steel. They do have it in brass. They have it in, I'm not sure if it's media blasted or it's just a matte finish of stainless steel. Of course, like polished stainless steel and they also have a media blasted titanium. This actually gets some really great warps and I can't wait to try and hit this with a torch and see what it looks like all blued up. Now in the corner we should have a spin time going and I believe I got about five and a half minutes right out of the package. This is pretty comfortable to a fidget with. I haven't had really any issues with it though I know that they are kind of retooling it for upcoming additions. What I have ended up finding is Though this is really well polished and everything, there are some hot spots on each of the arms and they are actually beveling those for additions that are going out uh, here shortly. So keep that in mind. If you remember, I did the wave tricks from them and they had kind of the same issue and that is being resolved. So let's dive down real close, take a look at what makes this tick and then we'll pop back out and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, here we are all up and close and as you can see, we have the same buttons as we did on the other. They are a flat design, but they do have these grooves around here and then the etching of their logo, which is nice and deep. I like the texture that it gives. It's nice and grippy. Taking a look at it generally around. You can see the seam line from it being machined. I'm not sure if this is uh, like stamped or pressed or if it's CNC'd. It is very quiet. It does have a slight ring to it as you do it with all stainless steel. It is very quiet though it does have a small ring to it as you get with most stainless steel of this size and style. Getting off button number one. Getting off button number one. Button number two. Retention ring. You do have a R188 bearing that comes in it. It does seem to be very nice and smooth. I haven't had any issues with it. Taking a look at the machining inside the chamber. There were no burrs or anything. Generally all around, I think once they end up fixing those hot spots that are right here on these very corners, this is a very nice spinner. Now, if you end up getting one of these and they have the hot spots, you could just take a nail file or some kind of file uh, and just, just hit those lightly and those spots will be completely gone. Getting this back together, bearing, retention ring, button one, Button two, spin. All right guys, so I have to say overall, I am pleased with it. You can't actually beat the price on this. Um, I've been talking to the guys over at Fidget Tricks and they're trying to bring um, good quality at a very fair price to, to everybody in general. Um, right now on Amazon, these are I think $19.95 for any of their styles. On the website, they are, I think they're 22, but after my discount, you can actually, they still end up coming out at the same price. The only one that's more expensive that isn't dropped down that low is the titanium. And I'm going to try and get one of those. As you know, I end up doing, there will be a contest with a Gleam.io link down in the description. And you can check that out to win one of these guys. And I want to thank them for sending an extra one over to give away. It'll be right here in its brand new packaging. You guys are completely awesome. We are just around 400 subscribers away from hitting 10,000, which we will have a giant giveaway of about 20 spinners. 
So definitely stay tuned for that. If you like what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button right over there. If you want to check out one of my other videos, click right there or right there. As usual, YouTube, it's been a pleasure showing this to you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace out.